Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Welcome back to day two with Allie. I am so excited for y'all to be here, experience it with us. We are, or Allie is designing a charcuterie brand. So I want to know where you're tuning in from and what is your local cheese? So tell us all about your local cheese, maybe some meats. Tell us what's going on in your part of the world. Oh, yes. uh, we want to know everything. So. Allie, tell us a little bit about yourself. What are we going to be working on? I'm just super excited for their day two. Cool. Me too. I'm super excited to be back. Um, so yesterday we were working on um, just kind of getting the basic of my logo going. So um, I don't know if you can see my screen yet, but um, it's so it's a charcuterie food truck was my idea. Um, kind of like a build your own board for a food truck. So we started off with just some fonts um over here and then we started to do some like logo concepts and um through pro the process we ended up with this guy right here and then we moved over to color which was definitely my favorite part of yesterday um and then kind of narrowed it down to this color palette with this as the main logo and these being like sub logos um and then i started the business card yesterday and then um, the two hours was up. It went by way faster than I thought it was going to. So um, today we're going to do the business card uh, menu. And then if there's time, which I'm hoping there is um, a few mock-ups on Photoshop. So, awesome. yeah. So before we talk into all that great work that you're about to do, tell chat a little bit about you. Show us some of the cool, the cool things you're working on. I see that you've yeah. got hoodies behind you. Tell us a little bit about the merch. Yes, I do. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that some people probably weren't here yesterday. So my name is Allie. I'm 23 from Maryland, and I am a small business owner. My business is Allie Rose Co. Uh, basically, it sells apparel, stationery, and stickers. It's all handmade and like curated by me. I'm kind of big into um, like handwritten calligraphy and stuff like that. So um, that is what I do. And then I major majored in graphic design in college. So um, I do logo work on the side. So this is my website and yeah, you can see I work from home. Obviously this is my office. It's my childhood bedroom. So <laughs> you can see a lot of my stuff going on in the back and I'll show you some of my, uh, logos that I have done in the past to give you a feel for, um, yeah. So here is some previous logos that I've worked on. Um, I generally stick to like a bright color palette. That's kind of what my brand is, bright. But I'm super excited to be working on this logo um, for Mini Charcuterie because it's a lot different than what I would normally do. Um, obviously, the color palette's a lot more muted and kind of more subtle. So, yeah, I love that. I love when you can start taking on projects, especially self initiated ones that push your yes. creative talents and maybe your comfort zone and all that great stuff. Yeah, for but sure. We've got some really fun, wonderful people in here. We've got Wade, Voodoo Val, William, Cedric from Wanda. There's a bunch of people from Wanda. Holy moly. Wow. So many Hi, people. guys. That's yeah, so exciting. Welcome. Good evening. Uh, hope yeah, what time is it there? Well, tell us about your favorite meats and cheeses, if, yeah. if that's what you're into. to. Uh, but yeah, this is great. So I'm super excited to see kind of where we get to by the end of this. Yeah, today. me too. It's making me wish that it was longer than two hours. At first, I was worried. That it would be too long, but after yesterday, I'm like, I don't know how much I'll get done. Yeah. So what what's first on on the agenda for today? So, the more I've been staring at this, to be honest with you, I'm gonna change these background colors. I was gonna do it before we got on, but I was like, no, I don't want to deceive anyone and do anything without showing everyone. So I think I'm gonna make it like a little bit of a lighter blue. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit. Did I already? Yeah. Um. I want it a little bit lighter than this so that the green pops out a little bit more. Yeah, I think I like that better. Um, I don't know. This one was like a little bit too green. I want it to be a little bit more blue. So 
right when we left yesterday, I was working on this pattern, um, which I'm super excited about. I think it turned out really well. I do think though that I might edit the pattern and make it bigger. I know we made it smaller yesterday, but I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger now. Just so that, cause realistically this is like, a, it's a business card. So if you think about it, it's only gonna be, you know, yay big. And then the, um, I'm just afraid that the details will get lost. Absolutely. So I'm gonna edit that pattern. And the nice part is that patterns go directly into your swatches, which is like, the best feature ever. I do love that feature as well. Oops. There's so many incredible countries represented in chat today. You've got Luxembourg, a guy from Egypt. That says that. What in the world? This is so exciting. <laughs> so lots of people, Netherlands, see it in there. It's amazing. Wow. Um, and if you are tuning in on YouTube, make sure you come over to be.net slash Adobe Live so you can actually comment in chat and we can see your stuff and respond. Uh, I think today, I, I let chat down yesterday and I apologize. I did not have enough cheese related puns. <laughs> oh no, do you have more today? I don't, but I'm hoping that chat will help us. Yeah, I'd love to hear some. Yeah. I think just like a good cheese, this stream will get even better with age. I um, saw the description of this and it was all good of I was oh like, what gosh. a good catchphrase. That should be the slogan. Lives. I love that. That's amazing. Right? Whoever came up with that description is a genius. Okay. I feel like this is lagging a little bit. I'm just rearranging it because I made it bigger and now things are overlapping. <laughs> Carol asked, what's a pirate's favorite cheese? What is it, Carol? Please tell us. I'd love to I'm know. not good at these. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. Um, all right, so now for the front of the business card. Oh my gosh, Carol says it's Havarti. <laughs> I like am so bad at thinking of those things on the spot, like puns like that. I'm impressed, Carol. <laughs> um, between the two colors that you're kind of messing with right now, which one do you think is cheddar? Wait. Huh? 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 That, good one. Good? Like that better. A... Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a little bit longer than I like to admit to say that I understood that. That's a good one. Thanks. I had to Google some cheese puns. So I'm Did just, you? I'm gonna do oh, like no. Parmesan and just sprinkle it throughout the stream. That was a good one too. Thank You're kind you. of on your A game today. <laughs> okay, so um I'm trying to think how I wanna have this formatted. Thinking I might do like a line here. What advice would you give to like a designer that's just starting off? Oh, um, honestly, I think passion projects are so helpful. Um, it's nice to be able to work on something. I, I did passion projects like through, um, there's some Instagram pages that we'll have like weekly um, or not even weekly, like monthly, like little challenges kind of, and there'll be passion projects basically. And then they'll give you a prompt. Um, so I think designing stuff like that, that's just for you to kind of figure out your style is really important because it's kind of hard to find your style. Like at the beginning, I don't think if I went to school for graphic design, I would have known yet what it is. So definitely doing stuff for yourself before working on a client is really important, I think. Absolutely. Would you say that they should believe in themselves? Oh my gosh. Brie Larson. Uh, <laughs> what you said yesterday. There yeah. we go. Uh, okay. I like, I was honestly about to put my real phone number on accident. <laughs> Why was I about to do that? Rookie moves. Like, I know. I was like, by default, just typing. Okay. Um, and then obviously this isn't a website, but one day it will be. So pro tip, what I like to use for mock-ups for numbers is I like to use Mike Jones's phone number because he had it in the rap song for so long. Wait, what is it? I'll change it. It's 
There you go. All right, there we go. So if you ever look at my mock-ups and if I've got like some it's phone numbers that. in there, it's always that. That is amazing. Um, I'm like blanking on what other information needs to go in a business card. I guess location, I don't really know. Well, actually no, it would be mobile. So there wouldn't be a specific location. Email address, if it's potentially, yeah. We'll uh, do. Val has a great pun. Okay, let's hear it. She says, when it comes to branding, Ali is a beast. A design monster, you might say. <laughs> That's a good one. That's Thanks, Val. Um, That's hilarious. That is stellar. Okay, let's see. And then, okay, so I was kind of trying to think of like a slogan for this. Um, and my sister came up with the idea for BYOB and then it would be like, bring your own board or build your own board instead of like, so I kind of want to put a slogan on here. Okay. But I don't know if I'm loving that one. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a good one for like uh, on the menu maybe. Okay. Yes. I don't know what a good, like, I think it would be cute to have um, the slogan in this cursive over here. Like, like <sighs> life is Gouda or something. <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Or have How do you come life. up with it so quick? That is, uh, you know, just, just had my coffee today. So I'm ready. Yeah. I have my coffee too. Again, a 3 PM coffee, but. <laughs> Bit of all said, cheese puns are in my wheelhouse. So. <laughs> Guys, I should have came up with more. <laughs> I'm not on my game. I, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is, you know, it's your brand. You get to have fun with it. So might as well. Just yeah, let's make it cheese puns throughout. For sure. Life is Gouda. Love it. Okay. I'll make it. I don't know if this is even. I'm gonna center these. There we go. I think I might make this. I love this feature in strokes, making the dash line and then like, oops, making it um, like a polka dot situation. So do you ever collaborate with uh, other creators? I do. I have collaborated with some people on like apparel, um, not really in uh, logo work at all, but um, I've done collabs for like giveaways and for, um, just like a variety of different stuff, kind of more so with the apparel than with anything else. But yeah, yeah do you, it's do really you fun. enjoy that, or do you prefer? Oh, I love a, it. A provolone ranger. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, I'm getting blown away every time you come up with one. Um, I do like it. I think it's a cool experience. Like the community of graphic designers is like, or small business owners in that case. Um, it's really fun to work with them and get to know them, and I just I learn a lot from it because everyone does stuff so differently and you don't realize it. Um, but yeah, I love it. So I see you've got the logo on one side and then the kind of copy on the other. What are you yes. doing for the back or the, I guess, front? Well, that, so this is going to be the back. Oh, I see what you're saying. This pattern. It. So this will be like technically the front. Got it. Okay. Ideally. I'm going to give it a little, I'm like a sucker for rounded corners. So ideally the business cards would be rounded corners. So I'm going to give it like a stroke because I think that looks nice. Oops. I actually have a rounded puncher, like a, a rounded corner puncher. And you just, I have it right here. Flip the edges. Yeah. It's literally the best invention of all time. So <laughs> I'm such a sucker for that. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, do you, is there any specific reason why you would want rounded corners for this? Or is it just kind of a gut feeling? I don't know. I just think it, it was a little bit bare in my opinion. Um, and it just needs something really subtle. Like this is obviously nothing insane or wild, but I think it adds a nice touch and it, I don't know, it just makes it look nice. And I would still like there to be more like the blue right here. I still want that to be there. So the, technically if this were around a corner, it would just cut off right here, you know, like just that one part. So. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks good. What are we thinking? This is not centered. Do you think you might need a, like a testimonial for any of the collateral you're doing? Ooh, 
Because I did not think of that, but that is a good idea. Val has given the perfect one. Okay, let's hear it. When it comes to cheese, Mitty's is the goat. <laughs> that would definitely appeal to the younger crowds. I think that's iconic. Yeah, it's brilliant. That's something that would be good. Like I love when pages have testimonials on their website. So if I were doing a website design, I would definitely probably add that. God. Val, just utterly impressed with your She's your killing it. Skills. Okay. So I think I like that. I think that looks nice. Um, I also think it would be cool to do like a, um, variation of colors. Like I love when people do, um, when they have, oh goodness, where are we now? Um, when they do more than one business card, like the same information, same idea, but different colors. I think it looks really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Like I do that around the holidays. I'll make a Christmas business card. I just think it's fun. So I'm just going to do that simply for fun. <laughs> Carol yes. says utterly. So like these, these designs are utterly delicious. Utterly. Yes. Amazing. Cool. I'm going to do like a work in these, um, browns or I guess it's orange technically, but just to try it. So I guess we, we talked about your favorite cheese yesterday, right? Have you, yeah. are you still sticking with, with it? Oh, I'm brie cheese till the day I die. Yeah, absolutely. It's so good. What is yours? I forget. I said uh, drunken goat. I think that's the one. Let me Google it. I've never had that. But I don't like goat cheese, to be honest with you. So it's not really that goat cheesy. It's oh, <laughs> goat cheesy. Okay. Oh, it's bathed in red wine. And that's why. I'm in. <laughs> okay. That's no. how it took. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that's my favorite. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of messing. Shashank says, hey, I just joined. Why is everyone talking about cheese? Well, let me tell you why. Yes, because tell us, Ellie. Because I'm making a brand for a charcuterie, excuse me, charcuterie food truck. And, you know, that's known for its cheese. So we've been having a lot of fun with cheese jokes and um, cheese puns. Mm -hmm. Not to get confused with cheese pies. No, sorry. Did I sound like I said pies? No. <laughs> no. Whoops. Cool. Okay, so this is, I just like to give, like if this were a client, I think it's nice to give options. And I think that this looks, looks nice. Okay. Would, would you do an alternative to the illustrations on that? Or would you keep it white still? I'd probably keep it white to make it cohesive. Um, yeah, I think I would keep it white, but obviously you could do. It could look nice if I made it this orange color, but. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna mock that up on a um, like a business card template type thing at the end. I'm gonna do all the mock-ups at the end. So I'm gonna keep this here. And then this is the main logo. So I'm gonna copy this and then we're gonna move over into InDesign and I'm gonna be making a menu, which I'm super excited about. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the logo right there. Now, I'm kind of, um, I don't have many, like, like I kind of had an idea of what I wanted the logo to look like. And for the menu, I, I really don't have a specific idea in mind. So I'm excited to just get into it and try. I'm actually going to copy just the midis. Have you already kind of built your own little copy doc for the menu? How do you typically go about these things? Honestly, I've only done one menu in the past. It's for, it was for a local, um, restaurant in my hometown. 
Um, but I don't have a specific one because I don't think it needs, to, that's why I didn't do uh, columns for this because I don't want to, I find myself being like, feeling like it needs to be fitting in the column. So I kind of like to have it as a blank slate and then I can add them in later once I figure out the, um, like the format that I'm going for. That's fair. Yeah. And also, you know, menus, it really just depends on how much content you have. That's also like, oh, right. Yeah, what are you trying to put in there? So my idea for this is, um, I want it to be like a, it's build your own. So you'll pick your, like, you'll see what I mean when I start to make it. But my idea was that I would, um, you would get like a pencil. It would be like a paper menu and you would get a pencil and then you would, um, check off the boxes saying which like fruit, vegetable, cheese you would want. So I'm going to try and make it like, like that. We'll see. Cool. So that you're not doing any prefix menus for, for the customers. Nope. Choose your own dairy experience. Like it. Yep. Okay. Val was asking, do you have any tips when laying out menus or techniques? She says she's never done one herself before. Um, I am not the most experienced in menus, to be honest with you. But um, again, I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and Behance. So I think that looking up that and like, I feel like menus are really specific towards the style that you're going for. Like you can really convey the vibe that you're going for through a menu, in my opinion. So um, I like, I, but I would recommend like my piece of advice would be to start with the blank slate like this because you can do like, that's why InDesign is so great that you can do columns when you set up your pages, but um, it does get a little bit more, um, could, like I feel constricted when I do that personally, so. Yeah, that's fair. Val says, when she, when it comes to restaurant branding, I don't know Jack. Uh, <laughs> Me too, Val. What a great, great pun. Thank you, Val. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, I think the same thing that makes a good restaurant menu good is the same thing that makes a good resume really good. And it's hierarchy and clarity and digestibility. Yes. Uh, I think it's never fun when you go to a restaurant and the menu is very difficult to read or there's nothing worse than that or the columns are messed up. And so you can't figure out the pricing and you're trying to play connect the dots between each line. Oh, I completely agree with you. Yeah. You can get all as fancy as you want with your, with your menus or you can keep it just really simple. Yep. So what are you thinking for typefaces for this to keep that kind of legibility or, um, so for the actual, like, information of course i'm not going to use either of these typefaces just because um i think that's it's really in my opinion just for logo i think that it would get a little bit jumbled um but i think i went for the heading i think i might use this script that i use for midis for the heading and i'm kind of just going to explore for the type i like a good like sans serif but I also liked the, um, what was it, the slab serif that we used yesterday when we were messing around with it. So I don't know, we shall see. Cool, I'm excited. So for this menu, I'm not gonna keep it exactly like the logo, just because I don't think that a badge would be necessary for the beginning of the logo. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. And I think it could be nice to put this badge like kind of small in this bottom corner, maybe something like that, like the official logo. Um, but that's why it's nice to have good elements outside of the logo as a whole, because you can pull it apart and make it look nice like this. I'm gonna make this all a little bit smaller though. Oh goodness. Okay, now for the fun part. So let's see how we wanna format this. So I'm gonna have it like, my idea for this always was it for it to be like, step one, choose two cheeses. Step okay. two, choose three fruits. So I'm gonna start with that. And we're just gonna go from there. So do you need chat's help picking cheeses? 
Okay, I, this is embarrassing to admit, but I literally wrote down cheeses on a post-it note because I knew I wasn't going to be able to think of it on the fly when I'm like nervous and people are watching. So um, I have a good list, but I want to put people's favorites on there. So if anyone wants to give me some cheeses to list, I will absolutely include that. Give us your cheeses chat. Give it to us. So I'll do step one. Choose, we'll say three cheeses because that's kind of like the bulk of what a charcuterie board is for. And I'm gonna make this the um, where is it? yeah, I think this will look nice as the same font as MIDI's because if I want to include um, a script, you don't want to do that for the bulk of the information. So it's nice to do that as a header. Absolutely. Uh, Voodoo Val says goat cheese is her favorite right now. Uh, okay. Laura says Gouda. Uh, Colby. Okay, let's see. Colby oh, I have all Jack. of those on my list. I have Colby, I have goat, and I have, what was the other one? Gouda. Yeah, I have that. Nice. We are on the ball today, you guys. Well, we've got to give more than three choices, right? Because oh, yeah. We're going to give, we're going to give a lot of choices for sure. <laughs> or else it's like, here's two, three <laughs> cheeses. And you're like, here's three cheeses. And here are three cheeses. And that is all we have today. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, I don't know if I want to center this or have it flush left. Try centering it first. Okay. So I'm just going to type out. All right. Well, I'll do Gouda for the first one. Okay. Go. Uh, Colby Jack. Colby Jack. I'll do Parmesan. We got to do Brie. Actually, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we'll do three rows of three then. And now I'm gonna go and find a good font for this. Let me move this over. So I can see it. All right. Ugh, I still can't see it. Val says, add sharp chowder. I'll do sharp chowder just for you, Val. Steve says, BB King's blue cheese. I am the biggest hater of blue cheese of all time. I hate to admit this. I would, I, I can't do blue cheese. So I'm so on, on the banning it like from midi. Okay. Stinky to non-stinky cheeses, where do you fall? Does anyone like love st stinky cheeses? Or I mean, obviously blue cheese, but definitely not stinky. I think I think Anthony Bourdain liked his stinky cheeses, and I don't. I don't uh, know why. Not me. Couldn't yeah. be me. Um, okay, so now I'm deciding. I love rig shaded. I think that that's a good. Um, oh, it's a nice, yeah. Good Super to clean, yeah. Sensor. And I love how it's by default in all caps. Um, I think that looks nice. But let me check what we did yesterday and just see if, what I'm thinking about that. Okay, I don't hate that. Mm, I think I like the other one better though. I think I'm gonna go with Rig Shaded. Rig Shaded is a good trusty sans serif. Gonna go thin. Cool. So like, for example, now that I have, now that I know I'm doing it in sections of three. Now I might go in and edit the layout, um, which is why I said, cause like, again, I didn't have that like um, in my mind. So I'm gonna go in and add three columns here. There we go. So I don't know how well you can see that. It's pretty fair, but um, it'll be nice because now I can center this in between these um, columns. Ah. Okay, and then I'm gonna center it. Steve loves his stinky cheeses. I got a all caps. Does oh, he? Yes, stinky cheeses, three exclamation marks. I wish I agreed with you, Steve. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm accidentally changing this font size. <laughs> Carol asked, sorry, I admit, I'm like catching up on chat. Wow, crazy. Carol asked, why would you eat mold on purpose? Thank you, Carol. I agree with you. I don't know why people do it. I it's do good not for understand. You. Penicillin Ugh. mold. So like 
I mean, I would rather, choose? I would just rather eat other things that are good for me, you know? That's like, fair. there's no need to eat mold. Cagney agrees. Blue cheese is the worst. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad that some people are on my side because normally when I say that, like when I get wings or something, I always get ranch. I'll never get blue cheese. And some people just think that I'm insane for it, but. Thanks for making me crave wings now. So I appreciate that. I know. I'm sorry. And I'm about to type in even more food. So this isn't going to help you. <laughs> it's always the food streams right at noon. It's amazing. Okay. So it's three o'clock my time. So. Oh, so you've already ate. I'm okay. Yeah. Smart. I don't know why these guides aren't telling me where the center is there. Okay, can someone tell me how to pronounce this? That one. Gruyere. 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 I will never me to another question for you. Yes. Would you deliver grayscale logos or things to a client? Yeah. Um, and, if, and if so, would you call it Gruyere scale? Good one. That yeah, was, maybe I should do it's that. All part at the end. The delivery. No, I think good. the I think the presentation was there for sure. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, that was a good one. Okay, I'm gonna move these in a bit, and then I'm gonna make like little boxes because ideally you would like check off your like which ones you would want, you know. Mm -hmm. And. I'm just going to do an outline for it. I'm not going to give it a fill. Colby says, keep these cheese jokes coming. Oh, we've got plenty. Don't I don't. Learn? So I hope that you just take one for the team. I've, I've got it. I'm just like trying to pace them out so I don't, you know. Front yeah, we still got an hour and a half left. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to sprinkle them throughout. But don't worry, it's nacho problem. I got this. How's it going? Thank you. I think the, the, the four year old in me is really enjoying making nacho jokes. You love a good nacho. Yeah. I'm going to actually make these a little bit thinner. Yeah, because I kind of want to match like the thickness of the type. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's try 0.75. Yeah, I think that's perfect. Nice. Eyedropper is like a lifesaver. There we go. Cool. I feel like I work so zoomed in. Val goes, keep them coming. Are you sure you're not fed up, feta up there <laughs> with them? That was that's one of my favorites, I think, actually. That's a really good one. Okay. And just to make sure that these are all in line, I'm gonna select oh you know what it's because i typed all of this on the same board yeah val i don't know how we're gonna get cheddar than that <laughs> you googled that you were definitely just on google i definitely was on google for that one you're right <laughs> i can tell <laughs> Do you mean the five minute delay between me <laughs> being able to respond? Yeah, a little, little delay on that one. Okay, so I'm separating these now because I want to be able to do this and then make sure that they're all, goodness, align to selection, make sure that they're all centered and they weren't. So good thing I did that. Hmm. And then now I forget what I had there. We're going to have to improvise. Uh, and then Bree, uh, Colby Jack, go. And then I always click this button up here, fit frame to content, so that it 
wraps it in tight and then it will help you um, to align things better. Yeah, that's a good one. What am I missing? Uh, I almost feel like you should just Feta. keep everything left aligned and not center them. You think? Yeah. Okay. I think the centering them is going to create some weird jumbling. All not right. to art direct or anything. No, please do. Okay, so then I'll just do that. And then, okay, yeah, and it's going to make it nice so that these boxes will be in line with each other. And don't forget, chat, in about an hour, we will be doing the Artist Spotlight. Make sure you go to the tab at the top if you want to nominate yourself or a friend of yours or whatever to be featured in the Artist Spotlight. So we'll do that in about an hour. But make sure you nominate somebody for future streams. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, now I'm forgetting the other cheeses that we did. We need two more. Asiago. Oh, an Asiago. Okay, all right. Getting fancy. I like it. Uh, pre Gouda Greer. I'm looking at my note and I feel like I'm still. Chat, we need one more cheese. We've lost it. How did I? Oh, wait, how do you pronounce that one? You made a joke about it. Like, Greer? It's. No, um, it sounds like monster. Mon monster. Oh, monster. Monster. Yeah. How do you spell that? Does anyone know? Because I know I don't. Oh, Is that it? Uh, M U N S T E R. Good guess, Allie. Okay. Close. Just take out the E. Oh. I don't think you need the E. This. In the middle, yeah. Really? Okay. I think that's it. Hold on. I swore it had an E, but I could. Be I've also never had that cheese. I have no idea what it tastes you like. Were right. so. You was were right. I? I was nice. Wrong. I failed. Nice going. Well done. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, Val says there's two ways to spell it. Is there? That stuff wow. always confuses me. Like, why wouldn't you just give it one name, you know? Or one spelling, I guess I should say. I'm going to Google why there's two ways to spell it. Yeah, I would actually love to know. <laughs> Cora is not helping me, so. <laughs> oh, another thing that's really nice um, about InDesign, and I remember we were like, forced to use in school and I hated it at the time but now it's so helpful is making paragraph styles so or character styles I guess um so like when I type next I can just go here and I can just click um I'll call this step so that I know and then it'll automatically format it to what I have smart yep that's huge uh Val says I believe one is the German spelling and one is the American which would make that a lot of sense. sense. Uh, thank you, Val, sense. for being our etymologist. Uh, All right. Step two. Now, I guess this will be like fruits. Choose, how many fruits should we do? Like four. I feel like that's a good like filler. Do you want to do a fruit nut combo? So my idea actually was I would do my steps. It would be like cheese, fruit, vegetables, and then add-ons at the bottom. Okay, like that. Kind All of right. my thought. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so I'm going to hold down option and then just drag this down. Actually, so I guess I wouldn't be using character styles because I'm just going to drag everything, but it is really nice to use them in the event that you need them. Okay. Well, I that also, means that you can change them really quickly now. Right. I also have a list of fruit. I'm not going to lie to you guys right now. But I only have like five. Because I feel like not every fruit is fitting for a charcuterie board. You know what I mean? Like you can't just shove in any fruit you want. I don't know. That's true. Uh, what, what other fruits you got? What else? 
I have strawberries, blueberries, of course, blackberries, grapes, apples, and pomegranate. Because remember the doodle had yeah, the pomegranate that doodle. nice pomegranate? Yeah, I figured I had to do that. Are we still debating if uh, tomatoes are fruits or vegetables? You know, I will stand by that they are vegetables. I will die on that hill. But I understand the reasoning why it's like technically not. You know? I'm trying to move this. You can't see this. Hold on, my screen share thing at the top is like covering up some stuff. That's okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. What is everyone saying about? Ooh, Carol asked, what if some are seasonal? Oh, sure. that is a really good point. Um, I guess this would be an editable menu then. I guess it would just Yeah, I mean, if this is a single-sided menu, you could just print it off real quick. Change right. It up, no problem. Right. Um, yeah, really interesting. Good question. Give us some, really question. some fruit choices you guys would like, um, like pineapple, you know? Pineapple is a good one. Put that on everything, including pizza. You do? You're one of those? <laughs> Yeah, I also want to just get chat going crazy. Yeah, that's a really controversial topic. So I'm sure people are going to have opinions. What are What are your thoughts on pineapple and pizza? Honestly, I'm such a just like a basic just cheese person that I don't like any toppings, but I have had it and I didn't think it was as bad as everyone made it seem. So like, I guess my answer is yes, but I don't think I would ever order it. Like if someone had it, I would have a bite or a slice, but I wouldn't order it myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you order it? Uh, yeah, it depends on from where and who's making it. What's uh, your favorite pizza joint? There's one in Portland that I miss dearly now that I'm not living in Portland. Mm, and it that is, is sad. Pop Pizza. I think it was made by two art directors from Wyden and Kennedy. Oh, I love that. Um, How cool. The pizza is incredible. It's Detroit style pizza. It's I've never had Detroit style pizza, fun fact. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's thicker. Like the crust is thicker, but it's like very buttery and crispy. Mm. Um, and it's like square pan pizza. Uh, so thick and big and beautiful. <laughs> um, so uh, Cagney says fig. You could throw fig in Ooh, there. Oh, that is a good one. That is very charcuterie-esque. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, also I'm just now realizing that these are not in line. Laura and Voodoo Val are talking about no pineapple on their pizza, which is incredible. I think, I think that that's the general answer, though, right? Like, I feel like if we had to guess the population's choice, it would probably be no. I don't know. Cagney says uh, cantaloupe. That's oh, cantaloupe's a good one. What should I swap out for cantaloupe? Uh, oranges. I feel like I see them on there, but okay. Do you? I don't I don't know, like, maybe. I think maybe it's just for decoration, like a really thin orange slice. You know how they do that at garnishes at restaurants and they'll oh. like fold it? I think maybe that's... Yeah, I feel like the acidity of it probably doesn't pair as well. I don't know. Did I just... Did I still cantaloupe, right? One second. I'm um, sure someone on the chat would... Oh. A, I think. Kenta. There you go, I think. Does that look right? I don't know. I guess I, I don't spell this word all. I'll, I'll be your Google. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. Um, that is cool. Cooked. I think that looks good. Okay, great. Thank you. I gotta get some coffee and then I guess we'll do step three. Let's see what it's looking like. Obviously, I'll add some more like fun elements to it once we're done. I'm just kind of laying out the base of it. I like the layout though, I think it's like clean and nice. Yeah. Uh, Steve <laughs> says that the, it sounds like Chicago pizza, which is soup. Okay. Okay. You're wrong, Steve. You're wrong. <laughs> Both Chicago pizza. How does not. it feel to be wrong? Yeah, just wrong. Just wrong. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Adobe Live and finding <laughs> out your pizza choice is wrong. Uh, yeah, no. Chicago style pizza deep dish is a beautiful concoction, um, but it's not. It. It's not the same as a Detroit style. One has way more sauce. See, I don't like a lot of sauce. I'd rather more cheese. I think. I think you'd like a Detroit style then because it's it's like the crust is makes up more of the pizza. Like okay. Deep dish is like still thin crust, around, right? But lots of cheese and lots of sauce. Um, gotcha. New York City pizza has neither crust nor sauce. Are you an anti-New York pizza? No, it's fine. I like all. 
you know, I'm an equal opportunity pizza <laughs> lover. I love all pizzas. I agree with I mean, you. I could eat pizza every meal. Absolutely. Every day of my life. Absolutely. Okay. Do we think three vegetables is enough? I think that that's good, but we're still going to give the same amount of options. And as a surprise to no one, I also wrote down vegetables that I'm going to use. So I Love don't it. have to think of them, but I still don't have enough. My favorite is cucumbers on a charcuterie board mm, for sure. How <laughs> guys love Allie more and more each day after telling Alex like it is. First on comic <laughs> papyrus, then on pineapple pizza. Now ask her how she pronounces uh gif or gif. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, is this gonna be a make or break? I say gif, like hard G. It is gif. It is? Okay. Yes. I never knew like the correct I always have said that though. Voodoo Val is just wrong about a lot of things. No, I think, I mean, and I say this. As I had her, to guess. I think that we're on the same page, me and her. I'm the biggest fan and cheerleader of Voodoo Val, but she's wrong about how you say, oh, okay. I got another one that will. Okay. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you. Okay. When you pronounce the word that is described to talk about viral images with like copy over them, what are those called? Like, are they, it's spelled like M-E-M-E-S because that. Memes? Wait, or... I don't even know what that word is. <laughs> that was freaky on chat. No, Alex, no, don't do it. Is it memes or memes? Oh my gosh, memes. No, it's memes. Wrong. Are you kidding me? Wait, you actually say that? I've never heard someone <laughs> say that and being like, and they're being serious. <laughs> For the sake of Adobe Live, it's true. I don't even think that that's like a, I don't even think that's an argument. I've never heard someone say. <laughs> Memes. Memes. That is the most interesting pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, Val, I'm on your side again for sure. <laughs> just like all caps, Ali. Thank you. So yes, yeah. of course. That's like I've, I'm not even just saying this. I've never heard someone say that <laughs> ever in my life. Well, you need to get out. You know. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to experiment. Exactly. <laughs> Meet more people. <laughs> Steve says now Alex has had his explained. It hides his massive head wound. <laughs> So good. Uh, okay, I can't. I, I'm completely <laughs> blanking on vegetables. I put cherry tomatoes in the vegetable category. I don't know if that's going to be controversial or not, but it's not a fruit to me. <laughs> that's fair. I, I'm food about quoted you. I don't even think that's an argument, an all caps response, <laughs> because it's not. <laughs> She's right. We should make that a meme. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can. can People tell me some vegetables. I'm blanking right now. Uh, vegetables, chat. What do we got? Um, Why can I literally? I did. Charles has asparagus. Okay. I like your I've cucumbers. Peppers are good. I think nine options for this is a little bit of a stretch, but I want to keep it the same look amongst all three categories. So we're going to stick to nine. We could just do uh, like. Yeah. I could do just six. Yeah, just if I just took out. Who needs, you know, who needs vegetables on a charcuterie platter? I feel like you must have never had a charcuterie then. Vegetables are such a I staple. I don't put vegetables on it. I typically do like sweet and savory. I just skip the veg. Really? I like, I mean, I like to, like my family likes to put dips and stuff. Oh, I guess olives. That's that actually going to be in my add-ons, I think. See? Missing out on a great opportunity for a vegetable there. It'll be an add-on. Got to make the extra Perfect. money, you know? <laughs> it's true. I like that. <laughs> Okay, I'm not liking this cherry tomatoes, how it doesn't look center because it's so much longer. Hmm. Gosh, so good. Val says, also side note, Cagney is very upset about the lack of meat. He's got beef with you, if you might say. <laughs> Get it? Hold on. Beef. Oh, oh, beef with me, got it. I thought he yeah. was like, I thought he was recommending putting beef on the no, no, no. board. I was like, I don't think that that's necessarily Val was fitting. adding the pun train. I got it. I like that. So I'm just going to center these now. We're going to get meat in there, chap. Don't you worry. We're going to have meat. <laughs> Steve is already starting a petition against boycotting uh, middies because of the lack of meat on the menu. Oh, no, that's step four. Don't even worry. Yeah. I have Seems my list of that, too. But you guys are going to have to help me because I'm not going to lie. I don't. I only have three written down, I believe. Yeah. 
What do you oh, have? Yeah. Prosciutto. Yeah, salami and pepperoni. Because I don't know of any others that are fitting. And I feel like how many how many should we choose for that? Like how many should they be able to choose? Uh a million. Unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. Don't boycott me just yet. We're about to do that. I think I might actually put that up on, um, I might make meat step two because I feel like it's fitting to have it like cheese and then meat, you know? I think I'll eventually swap that, but. I think I'm going to do two meats. Two meats? Oh, come on. Let's get more. Okay, meats than the only veg. reason the only reason I'm only saying two though is because I don't have many options. You know what I mean? I got you, girl. Okay. Right. So let's do three meats. Oh, rapid fire. Hold on. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. So I'll do pepperoni first. <laughs> Steve goes six meats. <laughs> Steve's gonna like make his own uh, charcuterie place called Six Meats now. I ideally like. I'm just gonna talk this into existence. So when Mitty's charcuterie happens, um, I think I would do like a like different packages per se of like you can do package one, which is two of each option, or package two, which is like th you can add extra stuff. I don't know. So. Maybe it would be a appropriate amount of meat for you. Or you could add on a meat, maybe. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Steve was saying that bartering technique is you start with six and then you can negotiate down to four. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And if you guys are missing chat and you're watching on YouTube and you're wondering why, it's because we're over on Behance. So make sure you go to be.net slash Adobe Live. Yeah, so you can out. actually comment and we can read it and you can join the, the puns and games um, and learn how to pronounce memes correctly by calling it memes. It's definitely not. Anyways, um, I need some more help with, I need three more memes. Okay, Mortadella. Well, I've never heard of that. Can you spell it? M-O-R-T-A-D-E-L-L-A. -L -L -A. What is that? That's it's like a bologna, but like or it's like we made Americans made bologna as a response to mortadella, but mortadella is like the OG Italian version. Okay. Uh, there's one. also calabrese, C A L A B R E S E. Okay. And then we can do a sorpresetta. Once again, never heard of that. Okay. So Persetus, S O P P R E S S A T A. What? Okay, hold on. You're going to back. Sorry, it's like a spelling bee. <laughs> S O P P R E S S A T A. A A T A? S O P P R E S S A T A. There we go. Craig says soil and green. I don't think we're going to do that. Unfortunately. What in the world is this? Oh, I was, that's why I was typing a bunch of random stuff, it seems. <laughs> Does it end in E or an A? A. Okay, my bad. That was a disaster of spelling. Okay. You're good. It's A T A, by the way, not E T A. Just in case you wanted a wider word. Yeah, gee, thanks. <laughs> Steve says we'll open up an all meat cafe next to Minis and put it out of business. <laughs> <laughs> like a whole like barbecue joint. Yeah. So is this a three, 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 three deal? You pick three of each. No, is it three, three, three? Or it might be yeah. Four, oh well, four cheeses, right? Four fruits. No, four. Fruits. No, it's three, three. cheese. 
four fruits. I don't know. Does that sound right? Like, I don't know what's normal. Because I don't think anyone's ever come up with a charcuterie food truck idea. As far as I know, no one better steal it because Middies is coming for life. <laughs> Middies is going to sue the shit out of you. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to swap these two. Because I think that the cheese and meat need to be next to each other. So, so he says, hey, Steve, it's a truck that can leave you alone at any moment. That's so funny. <laughs> we'll take this We'll take this battle of the businesses to the road. Where? Ellie says they just made an account just so they could say summer sausage, but it was late. Oh, no. Should I change one? Yeah, why not? Let's give LA one. Okay, because I hate how long it took me to spell that. I'm definitely going to swap that. You said summer sausage? Yeah. Ellie, this is going to be too long, but we are going to make it work just for you. Just put sausage <laughs> and then the summer will be implied. Okay. Okay, that makes me that that fits a lot better. It's a better yeah. look. See that this is the designer's copyright. It was like, ah, we don't need that word. Yeah, and this is the joy of it being simply a passion project is that I can change whatever I want to change and no one can tell me no. Amazing. I love it. So how many uh accessories or accoutrement are you looking for? Or like the what do you mean? The, the add-ons, yeah, the like olive section that you're talking about. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, four. But I don't know what, if anyone has any other ones that they like love on charcuterie, we can add them. Oh, are you making this? Hold up. What? What are we doing for like crackers and things? It's going to be like, I guess I need to put that on there somewhere. I was thinking just being like complimentary crackers and bread. No. Really? People, some people do nuts, right? We're doing like. Yeah. I feel like those are those are like an accessory with oh, it. That's fair. Okay. I could be no, you're well, good. let's see what people say. Yeah, let's see what the response is on social media once this launches. Like, where's I my complimentary wait. bread? Right. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller because I'm worried that we won't have room for there we go. Move everything up. <laughs> so it says nuts aren't a vessel. I don't know. I I feel like I've... I don't think they're. I don't think they're like absolutely necessary. But I personally like them. But I don't. I don't know if they're like as important as bread or crackers. You know. <laughs> Steve, because people are very specific about bread and crackers, except for in Detroit and Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why it's nice, right? It's build your own because if you don't like it, you don't have to get it, you know? Just comes full circle back to Steve not liking other people's <laughs> pizza. Okay. I think I'm only going to do six. Oh, Val said you could add at the top, comes with Mitty's famous crisps and nut mix. So there isn't a choice that comes on your own thing. Okay. I don't hate that. But I'm wondering, should that be like crackers and bread or, or I think I'm going to do, I'm thinking I'm going to keep nuts as an add-on, but then just say that, um, I like, like having the, the add-ons because you get the like olives and the nuts and yeah, things. like the, the fun things that don't always come on. I feel like my spacing is like off. I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. There we go. Okay. So gonna do olives of course are you gonna do a so this is the question you've got cucumbers at the vegetable section what happens yes. with pickles i this is i have pickles question mark as an add-on i don't know because it's a cucumber that's it is been pickled. yeah that is true um 
I don't have an answer for you. I'm just probably not going to put it on there at all. <laughs> That's fair. Again, this is the joy of passion projects. Oh, sign me up for the dark chocolate. Right? That's like the best, most essential. Okay, so now I'm going to do like preserves. You know how you put like, I know brie at least. You know how you do like cracker, brie, and then some sort of jam? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put preserves. And I don't know what flavor. It'll be the flavor of the day, we'll see. Voodoo Val just pointed out in 30 minutes, we'll be doing the artist spotlight. So make sure that you click the tab at the top and learn more details around how you can nominate yourself or friends or family members to be spotlighted. I'm excited for that. What are two more add-ons that people would want? I'm trying to think, or well, I mean, Zoe should wants, I do uh, pickled okra, but I don't know. Oh, how. I've no that's okay. That's some okay. fancy stuff. Steve still wants his pickles and olives, but I don't think. Maybe I'll, okay, maybe I'll combine both and I'll just do pickles for one. Yeah, might as well. That is kind of an essential. And I feel like, I feel like pickles are as controversial as pineapple and pizza. You think pickles are that controversial? Maybe not that much, but I feel like they're very, you either absolutely I've love them or absolutely hate to them. The, the pineapple and pizza thing. Okay, so maybe it's definitely not <laughs> to that level. <laughs> but I feel like pickles you either absolutely love or you absolutely hate, you know? Yeah, that's true. Or I, I don't know, I'm kind of indifferent to pickles, but I know people that are just yeah. fiends. I'm not a fiend. Like, I think I like train myself to like them because I always wanted to like them. You should ask Steve about the pickle festival that happens in New York. <gasps> that's so fun. There's actually, there was a pickle festival in Baltimore um, recently. I didn't go, but. Oh, nice. I might just do five for this and then center the two. Do you know why it's not giving me the center mark snaps in the individual columns? Do you know what I mean? The center snap marks on like, the individual columns? You know how for this, it oh. would tell me that it's in the center here? The way that, that looks... this tells me it's the center, like with the pink? What you could do is just left align the like if you group the that that box, you can left align that box to all the other boxes above it in that column. Mm, I see what you're saying. Okay, that's smart. Sometimes things get wonky. Oh no. Okay, that will, that'll be a that'll be a later. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Is everyone happy with the layout of this? What are we thinking about the layout? I think I like it. I think it's clean and simple. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm I'm hoping that you have some charcuterie pictures for us. I'm definitely gonna bring over those ones that we found yesterday from Adobe Stock for sure. I love it. Okay, let's see. Does this centering look good? I'm just trying to make sure the spacing is oh, good. This I think could be moved down a bit. Cool. Okay, cool. I really like it. I think it looks cool. So now I'm going to open, where is it? Oh. Val says that she actually loves it with the two underneath the center. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think it gives a good like variation, so it's not so exact. Okay, I don't know exactly how I'm going to incorporate these, but I definitely want to because I think. Oh, we forgot mushrooms as a vegetable. It's okay. Do do people like that on a charcuterie board? I okay, I get made fun of for this, but I think raw mushrooms are the most underrated vegetable. Huh? I think it's so good. What do you put with them? Like just good ranch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I definitely am the minority there. Like that, not many people agree with me. But do you make your own ranch, or do you just buy? It yeah, I love. Um, it's like sour cream, and then you mix in the like Hidden Valley Ranch packet. I think it is. That's my go-to. Oh, you need to up your game further. Than do that. I? Oh yeah. There's. What do you do? I'll see, I'll see if I can find the recipe for you. But okay, gee, thank you. Yeah, the when you realize how pretty simple making your own ranch is, it it gets. 
So good. So I used to work at a restaurant and they made their own ranch and I saw the amount of mayonnaise that went into it. And I was like, I will never, I swore I was never going to eat ranch again. So like, that is repulsive. So I think that it's probably, what does yours incorporate a lot of mayonnaise? I feel like it does. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sour cream ranch, all that good stuff. Sorry, I mean, it does make it taste video. so good, but the amount of mayonnaise really threw me for a loop. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Okay. Let's decide how, how I want to. Laura says raw zucchini is also cool. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting one. I might just put some illustrations just like around the um, specific one. I really am not entirely sure though. Val says she had a ranch with real fresh bacon in it, and now she doesn't want any other ranch. Oh, yeah. I feel like what, once you turn on to that, you can't go back to your Hidden Valley, you know? Chipotle bacon ranch with a bite Ooh. of citrus. It's good. Oh, wow. I don't doubt that. I don't know if that looks dumb or not. Let's see. So did you do your homework yet last night and register for Adobe Max? Are you going to be mad at me if I say no? No, but no, I've been seeing, not. I think that, I think that they're listening to us because I got so many ads for it today <laughs> and I was like, this is my sign, but I want to do, I saw one, um, one of the ads was like, I think it was a TikTok I saw of telling you like, are you on this side of TikTok? Then you should sign up for this part of Adobe Max. Oh, like, you know funny. what I'm talking about? I loved it. It was so good. Yeah, um, I've been seeing a lot of Reddit ads for Adobe lately. Okay. Which is like for like uh, Photoshop battles subcommunity. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Showing like really fun challenges that people are doing. That's fun. But in case you didn't know, Adobe Max is next week from the <clears throat> 26th, 25th. Oh, let me just double check the dates real quick. 26th to the 28th. That is correct. Uh, and it's free. Just sign I'm up, excited. register there. And if you love your Behance profiles and love hanging out with Behance, there's also a community section that you can add your profile to. And whenever you upload your projects, it'll automatically go to that community page. So yeah, I'm excited. excited. It'll give me something to do. Yeah. There's and why not? It's features. free, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really pumped for that. That was the one, the one incredible part of the whole COVID thing is these online great creative festivals. Right. That would have never came to life if it weren't for COVID. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to wish COVID over good speakers, but you know. <laughs> are these, are these nuts? I think they are. Those look like black eyed peas. Um, I don't, nuts too. I don't know. I'm going to just hope that they're nuts because I, I need something different for the add-ons. So we're just going to, we're going to say that I mean, they're nuts. That's your illustration now. So if you say it's yeah, nuts, you're right. nuts. Yeah, they're nuts for sure. Um, I don't know what to put for the meats. Maybe I could put like these uh, little leaf decorations. Because I don't want to put like this whole turkey right here. <laughs> or this like sausage link is scaring me. I'm definitely not going to You probably that. pull out some of those sausage links too. You could just have like one or That's two. That's true. Because I don't like this whole connection thing. I'll take it all over and then figure it out in, in design. But... Trying to find other things. Let's see. Steve says cashews. He yeah, thinks those are cashews? I think so. Okay. Then that makes me feel better. We'll, we'll say they're cashews. Yeah. Let's see. All right. I'll just take that and I'll probably come back. Yeah, those sausage. That's, I don't love that. Okay. <laughs> but... I ungrouped all these little pieces. Whoopsies. Kind 
Command G is a lifesaver too. To group everything. Oh yes, and then Command Option G. Okay. Shift G. Oh, you're right. Option. Yeah. Uh, I I've been staring at this menu a long time, and I can honestly say I'm really getting a quite fondue of it. You googled that, didn't you? <laughs> that was one of your better ones, I'd say. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah, something has to be done about this. Let's see what we can do. I don't know if... Oh, no, it's all connected. Just uh, grab the select direction tool, the white arrow, and then just grab one of the uh, links and then copy paste it out. Oh, goodness, Ali. Uh, just, yeah, you're missing a couple of anchor points, but that's, that's not a big deal. Let's see if that works. There we go. Okay. I feel like if you do just one, though, it's not. Let's try and do it. Do you know what the Greek name for Fediwap would be? I don't. Tell me. Fediwap? Fediwap. Okay, I could have guessed that one, I think. Pretty close. That's a pretty good one. It's all right. It's really interesting that there's this many just like online. <laughs> like the fact <laughs> that there's... I did it again. There we go. Uh, Justin Breber. <laughs> That's a good one. Gruyere's Anatomy. I've never watched Grey's Anatomy, fun fact. Kim Curd Dashian. Curd? I feel like that's a... Oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong? The cheese curd. All right, I'm just going to... Actually, let me save this while I'm here. I haven't saved it yet. All right. No. So anyway. I've gotten sucked down into a rabbit hole looking for funny uh, sure you have. facts. I'm here, chat. Why is this that can't wins? be right. Google says that the most popular cheese recipe in the United States is macaroni and cheese. I feel like I believe that. You think so? I mean, it's just the most like every age likes that. You know what I mean? That's fair. But there's what were you thinking it would be? Varieties of cheese. Yeah, that is a lot. Oh my gosh, I keep accidentally deleting this entire thing. I just want two sausages, and it's giving me a hard time. Sorry, everyone watching is probably like, hurry it up. But... No, you're doing great. Oh my gosh, okay. We're just gonna have that little hiccup right there. Okay. Let's try and format this somewhere on here and see what we're working with. See, like, I just feel like that looks so uncomfortable. It's just long boy. I mean, if you do it horizontally, maybe it's fine. I think if I like gave it a curve, kind of like have it. Yeah. Okay, but now do I need something on the other side since the rest have two? No, I would just maybe just do one for each 
Because I think the top two don't have two, right? Yeah. Just the but, two. Yeah. I was thinking that I could find another vegetable though. If I just did every other. So I will rotate or reflect. Can I not reflect on it? Uh, That's there you go. It's interesting. I know. Yeah, flip uh, flip horizontal, flip vertical. Oh, oh, oh. That's interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes, Voodoo Val. Voodoo Val's put back on her cheese hat. Uh, so Let's now hear she's it. got it. So she's like, prepare to Havarti a good laugh. Ah, uh, good one. That's good. All right, grapes or pomegranate? I think grapes are more fitting for charcuterie, especially because you generally like drink wine with charcuterie. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we have about uh, 13 minutes left before our artist spotlight series. Yay. That means we have about 45-ish minutes left. So menu's looking real good. It's feeling good. Okay. I think that that looks good. I'm not sold on the illustrations. I just definitely think it needed something. Um, and I'm just going to take a look at it without anything, just so we can see. Ah. Cool. I love it. I do think it needs like a border of sorts, though. So I'm definitely going to give it a border. And I think this is a good time I can bring the blue back in or like whatever you would consider this color. I think it's blue, right? Yeah. yeah. The charcuterie uh, type is that really close to minis as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. What was that? It's just uh, the charcuterie type is really close to midis, like it's touching the M. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll pull that down in a sec. So, oops. I'm gonna do no, oops. Hmm, it's not giving me a, hold on one second. Where did that square go? It's not letting me do a stroke. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think I'll do like a big old blue stroke. What are some, I know you've got your own kind of merchandise that you've been making. Who are some mm -hmm. of the brands that you look to when looking at like trying to make new merch lines and things like yeah. that? Yeah, um, I really like, so my stuff is generally graphic tees. It's like comfy clothes. So it's not really like boutique clothes, um, but I really love, there's this brand called Olive and Frank. I believe they're based outside of the US, um, but they do like a lot of embroidery stuff and it's really simple, but like really high quality clothes. And I absolutely love them. And honestly, I really love PacSun's um, graphic tees. I think that they have like a really nice uh, compilation of tees and same with Urban Outfitters. Um, I just like the vibe of theirs. I recently put a like distress texture on my tees and I got that idea from PacSun. So just like stuff like that. I take little bits of it inspiration from other places, but yeah, kind of like the main popular Love stores. It. Cool. I think that looks good. Fun. I feel like there could be, we could use something right here. Like it's a little bit bare up there, but I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't think it's exactly. like, I feel like with how dense the menu is, I think it, it's fine. It works. Giving okay, yourself cool. a little bit cool. of like white space up there for sure. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I want to see if I can round these edges. <laughs> what? What? You never round your edges. Never. Um, there we go. You get crazy with it. Oh, I wanted the inside to be rounded. Hmm. I'm wondering how that. Uh, you should be, click the corner button. Uh, uh, is it not giving it to you with the center option? Uh, where do you align stroke in this? Uh, 
maybe click. Hmm. I don't know. It's okay. Well, then now that kind of looks funky. Let's see what other stuff there is. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That's cool. See, that's like for like a fancy restaurant, I feel like. All right, we'll just round those corners then. And then ideally I would round the actual menu corners for sure. Because if you know me, I round corners of everything. Okay. You've got the corner rounder. Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. Amazon, best Amazon purchase, honestly, that I've ever had. Okay, so I'm going to save that command S, get some coffee, and then move into Photoshop. Love it. So I'm going to... Got about nine minutes before the hour spotlight, so we'll probably cool. get like a mock-up done. Yeah, it's perfect timing, actually. Okay, so I'm going to take this and duplicate it because... Let me just show you what I have. I found this on Adobe stock and I was like, this is perfect for my brand. I don't really know exactly what it would be for. Like I'm kind of envisioning it as a sign or I've seen food trucks where the whole side of the truck is wooden. So maybe on that, I'm not really sure. But That's great. I'm going to make all of this white so that because I, I like the look of the white on the on the um wood and I don't know how well the green would show up like for the actual logo, you know. So I'm gonna group it and then copy and paste. And so to be honest with you all right now, I'm not the best at Photoshop, but I still wanted to do it to show you how simple it is to do mockups with smart objects. So I opened it up from um, Adobe Stock and you literally, it'll tell you where to edit it. And then you just click right here, you double click that little guy and then select everything that they have and then delete it. You just make another layer too. Oh, okay. okay. Bottom, there you got the plus. Cool. And then just command V and then paste it in. It'll pop up with that. And then it'll paste as a smart object. And then you just click the check and you have to save this or else it won't transfer over but once it saves you all right it's getting a little slow but it'll automatically put it in the mock-up for you like look at this ta-da look how fun that is so fun love that and if I you love want that. to you can edit the filters on that uh so you've got the visual effects happening in that that drop down now click that layer which one uh open up Sorry, I can't really see in that layers panel. Yeah, open it up a little bit more. Cool. So go to the layer that says edit this. And then it's got the drop down effects happening. So on the far right side of the that layer, yeah, click the drop down, the down carrot. Oh. And then you can tighten up some of the things if you need to. So there's like, because it's the spray paint effect on it, there's some of the like ripple effect, the effects that it has around it you can open right. those up and then yeah, let's let's mess with some that's fun so you're probably the ripple and the gaussian blur are the two things that are probably making it uh so pixelated for you right so you can either make it more pixelated by going to the right or lower that uh pixelation and blurriness to the left i'm just trying to see the, how much of a difference uh so it's going back and doing essentially the same thing because it goes from zero percent to positive and negative so i see i see get it at zero be probably clip crisper there you go cool and then Sweet. a little bit of the gosh and blur yeah that's what cool what does this say not preview cool. uh so then you can just pull that down to zero if you want that's fine cool i think that looks awesome just okay tighter. so i'm gonna save this Actually, I'm just going to open up some more and you can exit this out once you have that done. Um, I'm going to open up another mock-up that I have. I don't know, asked, I... Would you ever choose to do something fancy like a gold leaf of the logo or something? Oh, I love the gold leaf look. I don't know. I don't know if that's fitting for this um, brand per se, but I love the look of the 
of um, the gold leaf. I've done mock-ups of gold leaf as well. Okay, so this is the business card mock-up that I found. And I just liked that there was like, it was sitting on this one thing. And um, the nice thing is that again, you can edit this color in the back. So like this turquoise, I'll probably swap to one of the brand colors. But I'm going to go get my business card. And then, so double click the front. And then erase all of this. Zoe says uh, gold leaf for the little icon illustrations would be so cute. Okay, maybe we can go on Adobe Stock and find that and find one if we have time. I'd love to do that. So then I'm pasting this in again as a smart object. Oh, and I think my background, okay, don't judge my layers. I'm not good at You're good. I don't um really organize my layers per se. So there we go. Okay, and I guess I didn't make So the this business size. card lockup might not be the correct size. As right. Well. But you can just pull the uh yeah, it might just cut out some stuff. Hmm. What if we just did this real quick? See if this is better. Oh, check that out. Perfect. Oh, look at you. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I'm going to, okay, so then save it. I love it. Okay. Let's do the back. I'm just gonna do a quick clipping mask of. Okay, and Command C. Oh, that one didn't work as well, but that's okay. Did that warp that a little bit? I, was uh, I think shit. it pulled one side more than the other. Right, okay. There we go. Cool. And then save it. Sweet, I think that looks so good. So now I'm going to change the background double click maybe i'll make it the um green so that's a great idea just gonna get the hex code from it and copy that and then paste that hex code Ooh, i think that looks cool i think it could be a little bit lighter i think that it kind of is distracting I yeah, it seems like it's pulling a different color. Maybe there's lighting on the background that's making it not. The yeah, I might color. have to edit that, go in there and edit that. Let's see. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Lights. Oh, goodness. Okay, that doesn't really do much. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Cool. So once we get to a good spot with this, we'll do the artist spotlight, but take yeah. your time. Okay. This is I think I'm looking really good. about done. I love the way that like the shadows are on it. Um, yeah, I think with that wooden plank there also just is such a nice nod to the, the yeah, jewelry business. For sure. Yeah, I was trying nice. to look, it's funny, I was trying to look up a mock-up for a charcuterie board, like a 
you've seen like engraved mm-hmm. charcuterie boards. I was like, how cool would that be? I couldn't find one, but the first mock-up, I guess, is good enough. Okay, I'm gonna save these and then. Well, if you uh, if you do have an Adobe stock version of that or still have a credit, we can do it real time together. You can find one and I'll show you how to do the burn effect. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, I have plenty cool. of um, credits. Perfect, I love it. So we are going to go and do our artist spotlight right meow. But first of all, if you have not already done so, make sure you go to adobemax.com or max.adobe.com and register for Adobe Max. It's free 99. Uh, and so just do it. Sign in with your Adobe account or your Behance account, all those good things. Just do it. Or as Val said earlier, Fawn, do it, um, which is amazing. So anyways, <laughs> so today's artist spotlight is an amazing designer. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to mispronounce your name. I think it's Konga Do Han. Uh, congratulations on being the featured artist spotlight for today. Make sure if you are not Kung and you want to be featured, or if you know somebody who should be featured, make sure that you go up in the top panel and click the artist spotlight section and learn more information about how you can nominate yourself for friends or family. Uh, so anyways, this is their profile and it's super exciting. Make sure that you give them follows. I'm going to give them a follow real quick. They've got their Facebook, Dribble, Pinterest, all linked there. So make sure you uh, go clickety click and go follow them, give them some thumbs up. We are going to go straight into their projects right now. Um, I always love little projects like this that are just full brand identities, already really clear up top saying uh, what they've done, branding, logo design, visual identity, verbal identity, and illustrations. Just scroll down. Love when you see some challenges. It's great. Cool little social mockups or like invite postings. Business cards, we were just talking about those. Um, cool mock-ups, this is cool, this is exciting. I like the color palette. One little illustration in there. Nice, good stuff. Um, let's see here, ooh, which do I click on? Just scroll through it real quick. We've got the training club. Cool. Oh man, this is cool. I love when people break down their gradient processes, um, especially with like brand colors and things like that. It's super helpful. Looks really nice. Yeah, it's cool. Some collateral. Some guidelines. Awesome. Oh, it's cool whenever you see the like illustrations coming together with the the gradient system. Nicely done. Oh, this is a case that it keeps on going. It's <laughs> I like it. I love when you get all the kind of facets. A logo folio, nice. Some really fun color palettes going on. That's fun. Yeah, these are great. These are super fun. I like the, the diversity of the work and the kind of typesetting and iconography that you've brought to a bunch of these brands. Well, I want to see this. So Vietnamese Tet Holiday, these uh, holiday cards. I love that. It's so pretty. The Vietnamese tradition, Lunar New Year, we get to see to see do. I'm not gonna read all this. It's really good though. It's really nice. Oh, I love these. These are great. Sure. Wow, these are cool. I love gifts like this that like show that it's not just like a stationary mock-up or anything like that. It's super fun bringing some motion super in there. Cool. Lewis asks, hey, where can I get those card templates? Uh, the card templates, either you can find them on Adobe Stock, uh, not for this, but I know you're talking about the, the training club stuff. You can find some templates like that on Adobe Stock or you can make them yourself. Um, 
things like this are pretty easy to make yourself in Photoshop and or Illustrator. This super easy to do in Illustrator Photoshop. Uh, so you don't always need to buy them or you know get stock credits or anything, but super helpful sometimes. All right, let's do one more. What are you thinking? Logo folio, brand identity, nails. I'll let you choose. Mm, I like the brand identity. Let's try that one. The one on the right, this one? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice. That looks really nice. It feels like a really nice, like, uh, what is that? It's a clothing brand. Nice. It oh, feels okay. very relaxing, like a spa almost. Yeah. Whoa, that's cool. That's it looks amazing. like it's a real picture. It doesn't even look like a mock-up. I know. That's why I'm like, wow, that's a long, long right. photo. Right. Oh, I like that one. This, 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 uh, this paper mock-up? Yeah, it's a cool mock-up. Mm -hmm. Looks so good. That's exciting. Oh, that's a nice addition, the social media like to this? make it. Yeah, and the oh, Instagram, this. it looks nice. Yeah, yeah. These There's a bunch of really great uh, kits. I probably would change out the no sim there uh, <laughs> just to whatever. 1.9 million followers though, wow. Popular brand. Especially for having a more mips and buy. <laughs> <laughs> little details wrong. like that are super important to like just nail to make it feel a little bit more real sometimes, but right. great mock-ups, super That's awesome. So make sure that you give them a like, follow, subscribe, all those things. Uh, Adobe, uh, sorry, Voodoo Val is linked to some Adobe stock templates and things like that, that will help you. Um, but speaking of mock-ups, we still have got about 20 minutes. So I'd cool. love to start diving into the rest of your work. And yeah. Let's, yeah, do it. let's do it. Let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we just finished up this and then the business cards. Um, <clears throat> there they are. And I have, um, I'm going to mock up a menu like obviously we already made the menu but i found this really nice looking um wooden menu holder i don't really know we'll see so i thought it could be cool to see the menu like standing up like that so we're gonna go ahead and mock that up so i'm gonna go into indesign i just realized that this should probably have a white fill so that it's not transparent on the there we go. And then I'm just gonna copy, whoops, not that. Copy all of that and then double click here. And again, I probably should have messed with the sizing earlier honestly didn't think of huh. oh no no that is one of the tough parts is finding a mock-up that fits your perfect size right i'm trying to figure out how i should go about doing this i'm wondering if i could just center it what it would look like let's try that yeah you can absolutely do that i would just do a background color though okay let me Where am I filling? Hmm. Uh, press I and you can get the eyedropper and then you can press G and then just paint into it. Oh, that's a gradient, sorry. Uh, press, uh, go down to the, the gradient tool and you can change it to a paint bucket. Cool. Yeah, I don't love that, but we're gonna keep it just for like the sake of um yeah, you're just trying to see how it fits on the model right now right okay so i'm gonna save it let me get back to this tool and then let's see okay 
I think that looks so cool. Um, obviously the bottom is cut off because it's got to fit in this. So if this were real life, I would of course keep that in mind and then bump everything up so that it was all being seen. But I think this is such a nice looking mock-up. Like I feel like if I were presenting this to a client, this is such a good way to show them like real life situations. And I think the wooden menu holder just kind of ties everything together. Like, cause there's the unison of like the wood features amongst all the mock-ups. So I think it looks cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I, like I completely agree. So, I mean, I'm not going to do this just for time's sake, but I would probably um, go back into InDesign and pull this down so that there's more of this blue up here so that the borders are all the same width. But again, um, if it were a client, I would definitely do that. So I'm just going to save that as the menu. Yeah, and don't forget, whatever. if you're a chatter or whatever, or even you, if you wanted to, you could print these things really easily and shoot them yourselves. So that way you don't have to rely on yeah. you know, a Photoshop mock-up or anything The best like form of mock-ups is just a real life. Yeah, yeah. okay, so. Like, that way you can control the lighting, you can go to a thrift store and buy your own plank of wood, all yes. these good things. And yeah, and it. it's also like, obviously this looks real, but it does give an added touch when it's actually real. You can kind of tell the difference, you know? Absolutely. The shadows are more accurate and stuff. Um, okay, what was, you were saying, let's do something together yeah, on so, Adobe uh, Stock? Yeah, if you can go to Adobe Stock and then just yeah. look up like a wood board. Let's see. So you almost, there's like. Oh, I think that looks hmm. kind of nice. Cool. There you go. Look at that. Where'd she go? Oh, perfect. Have, do you have credits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, just grab that baby boy. That's going to be cool. How fitting. Okay. Then so then, just... Yeah, just post that, pull that into Photoshop. Oh, oh it's a JPEG too. Huh. Yeah, that's fine. Just pull it straight in. So you got a couple different options with this now. So you can try to use the full color mockups you have or of the logo, uh -huh. or you can just convert the logo straight into black and white. Okay. Um, um, I think I'll probably use the white that I used for the... Uh, you'll probably want to use a black version of it. Okay. So let me go make that black. this effect. Right, okay. So make everything black. Yeah, I would just make everything black. Cool, so I'll just take that one. And then just copy and paste. Yep, just copy and paste, correct. Sweet. I'm gonna do and then this pull it over to that like circle one, whichever one you want. Yeah, I like this circle one right here. Yeah, that's cute. I think that looks nice. Oh, goodness. Why do I keep doing this? Because <laughs> the command changed. I still haven't gotten used to it. Yeah, what is the what is the command change? I'm just so used to Illustrator. Uh, it used to be like Shift. Illustrator, I think, and then it changed. Where now it's equal distance, so you don't need to hold anything. It'll just always stretch dimensionally. Oh, okay. I always and then, I'm always holding Shift because of. And if you're holding Shift, then, that, then that's the breaking point. I think. That's okay. There we go. Cool. So that's that's your your logo. So now you can just place it down. It's a vector smart object, and what you'll do is you just change the blending mode on it. So you can go from normal. I'd probably do like a multiply or you can do a multiply. Yeah. Maybe a dissolve even might work really well for that. Did that work? I don't, I didn't notice uh, the difference really. It's not showing yet, but uh, I think if what we do is also change the opacity needed. Uh, so there's a couple of things we can do. We can do it through layer effects. So if you want that embossed look, um, I would double click on, um, so what you can do is just double click that layer, uh, not the title on it, just the, uh, the other, sorry. Not sorry, it's taking me the libraries now, my bad. Very good. Don't click the icon and don't click the type, click next to it. There you go. Yeah. Click anywhere. Double click it. There you go. Can you there tell you I'm not a Photoshop guru? <laughs> no, you're good. No worries. And so what you can do is you can now add like a inner shadow or 
Um, you've also got, sorry, you got also the bevel and emboss button above. So I'll turn off the inner shadow because you've turned it on now. So now you can mess with everything in the bevel and emboss section. Cool. Which allows mm -hmm. you to control that depth. So you can kind of see how on the top part of it, you've got like the glow of it looking like it's been pressed yeah. in a tiny bit. That's so cool. And you can adjust the opacity as well um, of the inside and the right. bevel. I'm just going to mess with them and see what. Yeah, that's a great idea. Do. I'm not noticing a difference in that. It I'm might wondering... be because the layer is currently on multiply. So we might need to. Oh, just let me change that, that back to, to normal. To normal. Cool. And then, hmm. you can also change the contour and the texture by clicking on those things in the left side of that screen. So above uh, where your bevel and embosses, there's two sections. One's the contour and one's oh, texture. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that looks really nice. Let's Alexa see. says, looks so real obsessed with the logo type. Yay. Yeah. That makes Great. me so happy. I think this looks really nice on top of this. And then you can also adjust the blending options specifically on the section above the blend and emboss or bevel and okay, emboss. Okay, cool. Well, I don't like that much texture, but I think some looks good. Cool. So I would do, uh, not styles, go one more down. There you go. And then that should allow fill opacity. So that fill opacity should be that inside section. Oh, that looks so nice. I love this. And then you can change the mode as well if you need. Let's mess with the mode. Which dissolve might be a, a good one. I'm not sure if it'll break it or not. Where's dissolve? Difference maybe. Oh, here's dissolve. That looks yeah, super grainy. Yeah, it's um, super grainy. Uh, maybe. Oh, I kind of like that. Obviously, that's not really what we're going for, but I think it's a well, cool look. So you can do this with multiple pairings, right? So if you were to do that, if you like that effect, I would grab mm -hmm. that that layer. So do the difference if you want, and then duplicate it. Yeah, duplicate it, and then uh, just uh, you can. Oh, look at that. Um, and then you can turn off the layer effects on the duplicated version. So you just turn off the eyeball and then you can change the, like the blend. So I think you had a, like maybe it was overlay might give you a little bit of that burn. Oh, I like darker color. I think that looks really yeah. nice. That looks super realistic. I think I'm gonna do that. So you can do that. And then Sweet. if you wanted to, you can lower the opacity to get it even more of that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Oops, that's too much. Wow, I love this. Yeah, there you go. That looks so nice. Yeah, and so, like so realistic. I feel like it looks like you took like a burning hot stamp and just stamped into it. Yeah, absolutely. If you so want to ideally, be all like, geeky with it, you can eventually get your like burn tool out and burn edges around the tile. Oh form. goodness, that would look awesome. I'm gonna put it on something else just to see. Mm -hmm. I like, I like this one too. Yeah, it's funky. That. What a fun shape. Okay, I'm going to just duplicate another one. And Val says we have 10 minutes left. That's true. We have about like math. Math is hard. Math is so okay. hard. I think about seven minutes left now. So make sure you get your questions in. If you have any, we want to hear them. Well, I'm sad that this is about to be over. I know. I can't really make this smaller. What are you trying to do with that? Why can't I make it make it smaller? Uh, just Command T. There we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I click Shift again. There we go. <laughs> okay, this one I think I would look cool to do like on the bottom, like not the whole oh, yeah, size the of it. Yeah. Honestly, I like the way it is. And this is only one layer because I didn't mm -hmm. do both. And I kind of love that look. That one looks super realistic to me. I feel like this would be fun too, like 
if I were to take just one of these and then put it on another mock-up of like a table or something, and then you could <clears throat> get it really realistic. Absolutely. I love that. That looks That's awesome. Great. Sweet. I'm glad we did that. Yeah. You're, you're a burn wood burner expert. I know. Check this out. Actually, this reminds me, I have one more mock-up and I think we have time for it. Let's I was going to about five minutes. Cool. That's perfect then. I was going to, um, put this all together in like a formatted way, but I think that we get the, the gist of it, you know? Absolutely. But actually I probably will put all of this stuff together and I'll probably put it on my Behance if anyone wants to see like a condensed version of it and I'll do the like colors and stuff. What a great idea. Love thank it. you, thank you. Yeah, cause it always looks nice to have it like, like the artist spotlight to have it all together, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree. Okay, so obviously there's not, I guess there's not really bags per se for this, but if you got like a to-go charcuterie, I don't know, I just like to look at these bags. I think they look nice, so. Do they have a paper uh, textured one or is it only white? Um, I think it's only white. Oh wait, here, we can change it. Let's try like a, like a craft brown. Yeah, that's what I was thinking if I had, but it's so hard to make a, like a white bag look like paper right. bag. Yeah. That's not, uh, nah, don't terrible. worry about it. You're good. I'll keep one white and then I'll keep, I'll, I'll do that. Well, this could be a good opportunity for like one of your brand colors as well. So oh, true. Okay. Not your worst idea. Thank you. Okay. What is this? I'm going to grab the white one. Something about white on like a brown craft. I would actually, that would be so cool if you, if I could print the um, menu on a craft paper. Dang, I could not figure it out. I'm gonna make it smaller. Alex says for this personally, I like the do command click the smart object and then command J a layer of substrate wood in this case. Oh, interesting. That's a good idea too. Okay. So you have like another layer of wood texturing it. Right. Kind of smart. Oh, I love that. That looks oh, that's so cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna do the colored logo with with the background for this white one and see how that works. Mockups are so fun once you get the hang of them. It took me a long time, but yeah, but mockups really help solve it. Uh, and one hundred percent. And it's fun whenever you have a really fun logo to play with and all these things. Yeah. It's like the, I don't know, it's like you're done with running a marathon and you're just like feeling good and excited. Absolutely. Can't relate to the marathon part, but. Neither can sure I, it's... but I would imagine <laughs> what it's like. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. That's what, that's what I can only imagine. That's what it feels like. You know, whenever say. you finish that pineapple pizza and you okay. just feel so yeah. good. Yeah. And your brie cheese. Yeah. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to move it down a bit, but I really like it. Okay, actually, I'm gonna move it back up a teeny bit, and then I think I'm all set. Cool. Once you get this moved up, let's do a recap of yes. all the radness that you've made today and yeah. yesterday. Awesome. I think it looks so fun. Yeah, it's so fun. I love that. I love that. Wrap yeah. everything up. So, obviously, it's a charcuterie food truck, fictional, but one day will be nonfiction. It's coming to life. Um, shortened version of my last name. It's where I got the name from. And then I kind of wanted a badge situation. So started messing around with options on this artboard and then um, tried some other ones, which I definitely think were good contenders, but homey, cozy vibes. So I think this color palette kind of nailed that on the head. Um, and then here we have some other shortened versions of the logo, sub logos um, for like elements that I would give a client if this were a real project or to put as like social media icons or like a favicon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but, yep. um, and then I made business cards here. Um, really simple, but I love when people give business cards and they're all different colors. So just two different options. Obviously this isn't this orange Brown isn't our um, main color, but I thought it looked nice to just, just to see. Then we went over into InDesign. And I'll give, let's 
do presentation mode. And then we came up with a menu. It's kind of a build your own charcuterie. So ideally this would be like a piece of paper and then you would have a pencil and you would check off what you would like. And the burn effect, which was super cool because it's obviously really fitting its charcuterie board. Menu holder. And then I might've cleared out of it, but oh no, business cards. Okay. Perfect. And yeah. Well, thank you so much, Allie, for two wonderful days. We really appreciate yes. having you. Thank you so, so much, much for fun. having me. I've had Absolutely. so much fun. It's been amazing. Yeah. And so make sure chat, stay around for the XD Daily Creative Challenge and draw along with Kyle T. Webster. We'll be back very shortly. Thank you again for hanging out. We'll see thank you, you so much. today. Bye. See ya.